Hello again, and welcome back to Medieval 2. After making our way through the sewer, we found out that the professor was working on a time machine, as well as him being friends with Palethorn. So now we're back in the museum to find the time machine and see if it works. And from the looks of things, this is a different location. So yeah, we're going to start our video from where, right where the entrances and all that and before we do that make sure you give a thumbs up if there's anything you like comment down below and subscribe and make sure you press the notification bell if you want to be notified as well as my goal is to reach 100 subscribers so with that out of the way let's just get this over and if I'm not mistaken this is the entrance Oh, I found some treasure. Let's see. It looks like we found new enemies. Well, not exactly new enemies. This is just the advanced version of the metal guys with the golden sword. And just in time for me to refill my health. Thank you very much. Earth. Okay. Let's see where this time machine is. Hmm. There it is, time. And here it is, the time machine itself. Alright, let's see what this book says. Kif's amazing collaborating chrono chair. The chrono chair prototype, pretend by one of Hamilton's Kif, it is a revolutionary machine that able a person to part the veil of time and visit either past or future. Imagine all the uncovering wonders of the world that the machine could show us. If only it works, the professor himself says, yes, unfortunately, it's true. Everything I've seen through time has always returned only somewhat running than when it left. All right, so basically, doesn't work. Let's see, just circle around here if there's anything. Nope. So what do we do? We're gonna have to find some parts for the time machine. Space. Let's see what this is. And it looks like there's one of the parts here. In, through the window. Let's see what this book says. If only these stupid arms would leave me alone. Moon exhibit. By the year 1910, the moon will become part of the greatest colonial empire. Tourists will go on to the day trip where they will be able to visit the countless gift shops and tea rooms. The more interesting will be able to go on safari to hunt the various vicious moon beast that literally it's cheesy surface so basically people think that the moon is made out of cheese and the moon beast is actually the aliens or martians let's see and most of these buttons here are to summon these moon beasts Alien, actually. So let me just get my head out and go through this area. Like here. And let me step on one of these platforms to summon Alien. Okay, I need to hit. 
Just like that, you're gonna have to do it three times. Let's see. There we go. Now let's do one more. And we've already took care of these aliens. And we got one of the machine parts. So let's see. Come here, you. Let me see what else I... What's this? Contact. And that's a weird looking gramophone. Too large. Let me see. The Kelsian Grammar Horn. Any quest to explain the Empire of the Grey Science with having desired and let's see. It will blast out the natural anthems to fartiest reach of outer space. Really? When the aliens heard such as wonderful peace, they are servicing to glorious Queen Victoria. So basically, it's like Simon says. Well, let's just see. Oh. So basically, it is like Simon says. Just follow the rhythm repeatedly. Otherwise, if I mess up, I'm going to start over again. Wait. See? Let me see. Nice and slow. Yeah, this is gonna take a while, so I'm just gonna have to silence this video so I can concentrate. And that takes care of that. And look at this. A flying saucer. Even though it's randomly doesn't exist. Man on the moon or something like that. And I got the time machine, another piece. So I'm gonna have to go downstairs. There's something over there actually. Let's see. In the next few years, giant space became beacon will up toward the United Sea. The telephone and the wireless will be made obsolete by the introduction of small hats that beams with to the brain. Okay. 
And there's a slot over there, so let's go see what's inside. So this is basically a introduction of what the satellite looks like in the near future. And I'm gonna have to jump over there to get that last piece. Or I'm gonna have to go over here. That's higher. Let's see if that works. I messed up, so I'm gonna have to start over again. <sighs> Take my time doing this is not that easy. Dang it. Let me see if I can try to wait for the right moment. Just wait for it. There we go. And I got myself the last piece of the machine. So let's head back to the time machine and place them all together. See if that works. see if we could go back in time to save Kia. I forgot to mention. Let's see. Let's put this big part here. A clock on the side here. And the last one, the hand on the clock. Let's see if that works. Looks very nice. Now let's see if this actually works. So we can save Kia. Now what do you know, it did work. Oh great, we're back here again in the sewer. Let's see. Alright then, you've come along. No. Oh, it's those na those things again. How's it going? It's your founder, your Idle. Don't mind me. Let's see. And I still can't go into this area. And those weird cow things are not there anymore. Let's see. Fell down. Oh good. This thing is refilled again. Hopefully I can get more from this. Or not. And this area is blocked off. So I can't go any further. But at least I saved their women, so... At least that's thankful for me to do. Let's see... How's that leader? The tribe leader. Hey, how's it going? Hmm, you still got that good reflex. I like that. Alright, if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna have to go in here to get this time stone thing. So we can fix time and go back to save Kia. Let's see. For the time machine. And I'm guessing this is the time stone. And I am stuck. 
Luckily, there's these hands things, so... Catch me if you can. Okay, so there's nowhere to go. But up. Let's see, where is that place? I gotta find a higher grip. Let's see where to go, where to go. Ah, there's Winston. Let's see what he has to say. Stealing the time stone won't make you popular with the Mollocks. Hurry back to the time machine and try and save Kia. Oh, so that's what they're called. Mollocks. And this here is the switch to release me. Let's see if this actually work. If I could. Go down here and get my head. And get out of here before things get real ugly. Let's see, where am I? Wrong way. I've never been to this place, so let's see how this looks. Wait. What's my time machine doing over there? Them crafty mullocks have hidden the time machine on the island. Only someone wearing the king's hat can summon that boat over there. See what you can do. So it looks like I'm gonna have to try to impersonate the king. Even though I kind of look, well, I kind of look like him. Of course, you're not going to let me through. So I'm going to have to talk to the king or take him out. Whatever suits me. Just so I can save Kia. And there's the king. Summoning. You know what? I don't have time for this. Okay, so let's see where else I can go. This way. Made it. Let's see. And there's the changing fitting room so say goodbye to my regular self appearance and say hello to the new king me let me see what they say yeah that's what I thought they haven't suspect nothing of course they think I'm uh, I am the king's twin brother, much taller. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just trying to walk and all that. Don't say nothing, just my own business. Alright, so now that I got the stone, it's time to go to the time machine and see if this works. I'm back in time. And just the right moment too. Alright then, you've come a long way. Alright, so I'm back where I was supposed to. And there's more blood here and there. There's something noises are going on. Hissing noises. 
There's Kia and there's the Ripper. Let me see. I, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to use this for now. The magic sword. And that's good. And I'm really close to the boss fight, so let me try to prepare myself. I should be using the lightning. Because I'm sure that this is more powerful to use against the Ripper. So, with that out of the way, let's take care of this Ripper and prepare for battle. I think that was a bad idea. Alright, so what you're gonna have to do is wait until he grabs Kia and try to slice her up just in the right time. I'm just gonna have to circle around until everything's taken care of. Let's see if this works though. Alright, so it looks like it did work, sort of. Let me switch to my sword. See if that works. Oh, what do you know? It does. I just used enough power to kill the Ripper. So, I'm, so basically the lightning and the magic sword is the right choice to take care of this guy. Let's see if this works again. Good, it did. Alright, so it looks like he's going to be using another attack, I believe. I'm going to use the sword now. See if this works. There it is, the raining fire attack. Oh, that's right, I have no shield, so I'm just switch to my old one. So the objective is to kill the Ripper before he drains Kia's life. And I'm already finished through here. So let's take care of finish him off once and for all. Almost there. Just one life left. And I better make it count. I don't think so. And he's dead. Mercy, honorable knight. Spare me. Uh -huh. Now look, I got a chalice. So now I saved the... Oh, hello, Dan. Right on time. So we finally saved Kia and defeated the Ripper. And then look, from the looks of this, I have my new armor appearance. Let me see. I can't do it. Alright, no matters. Let's go see the professor to tell the good news.
or the alternative professor because this is the alternate version. I went back in time to recreate the timeline on somewhat. It's hard to explain, I can't talk, so let's just see what he says. Oh, you found her then. Good, good. I knew she'd come to no harm. Uh, ooh, it's no time for this dubby dubby stuff. Uh, things are looking grim. I'm uh, picking up a bizarre signal from the Fire. Fire. When I go on looking for the final page, it's a spell book. Yes, Cathedral Spires. How did you know that? <laughs> Where did you get that newfangled armor from? Mm. Looks to be made of the same material as your shield. Interesting. Should afford you much greater protection. So, right, the mission is simple. We have to find that page of the spell book before Palefall, or else all of London will be hit, and we've lost. Exactly, Professor. Now let's see what kind of new weapon I get from the chalice. Let me see what. Take this, the magic sword, twice the size and twice as powerful as all your other close-range weapons. All right, so I've mistaken this sword that I have right now for the magic sword, which this is the magic one. And I don't need this anymore, so let me just switch this to that. And my alternate power weapon, excuse me, with, I'm guessing, the bullet, the pistol, excuse me, even though I haven't used it that often. Oh yeah, there's a, a diary that the professor has over there in the, in his room. So let's see what it says here. The diary of Professor Killed January 1878. This morning, an unexpected caller presented itself in the door, and it was known Lord Palethorn. Had some, let's see, magic circle. The previous month, again, the embarrassing details of the journal from 1877. Far from beyond his one. Straight away, he was answering. Let's see. He laughed and began to tell me that she... Alright, so basically... Information about Xerox Spellbook. Okay, that was a pretty long diary. So it looks like the professor is trying to find his revenge. That responsible for his hands being destroyed and whatnot. 
And yes, I also want to point out that I did miss one more chalice, but there is a good reason for that. Hopefully I'll give that reason in the next video. So, speaking of which, in the next video, thank you again for watching this. And like always, make sure you leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. So until then, I will see you again in that next video.